Hello guys, Lincoln here and I will continue where I left off last time when I was showing the forge uh, and the stats, what stats you should focus on when it comes to rings and amulets and I will actually craft a couple since I made my forge to level 28. Uh, the reason I want to make rings now, I'm really stressed out because I made uh, an attack on the Harbinger and did fairly okay, 6 million in damage. So I showed it to the guild and then this dude just comes and says, okay, I do better. So I need to do better now than him. So I want to craft a couple of rings and amulets to my, one of my assassins, Mantis. So let's do that. And uh, my Mantis is level 100. So I'm not going to do these uh, high level rings right now. I will do some with my platinum. And as I mentioned in my previous video, we're going to focus on the best rings are the 92 one and the 88 one. And the 92 one um, is more all round uh, since it has a primary stats of dodge. And I'm going to try to push a little harder with um, uh, the 88 ring since I get some crit chance. But uh, keep in mind, when you go lower level on your rings, you get the lower um, uh, attack power, for example, on your secondary stats. Like the highest attack power I can get here is 1011 and the 92 ring is 1098. So um, don't go too low, even though the stats are good. Uh, you might actually lose on the level requirements as well. But uh, let's do uh, two of these crit chance rings and hope for um, high attack power or some good energy on hit. Uh, let's see what, what we get. If I get a double hit on crit chance together with the primary stat crit chance, this might be a good ring for Sadaharu or some other hero that needs crit. Let's do two of these. And we got a lot of crit damage on this one. This could be one maybe for Lucy, Lucy since she needs a lot of crit damage. Uh, but I'm actually missing, uh, unfortunately, attack power on this ring. Uh, so not sure it uh, will be worth it. Power-wise, I will not get power at all if I don't have attack power, but still a good ring. But let's make another one. I'm hoping for attack power as well. Get energy on hit, uh, crit damage and crit chance, no attack power. And that's unfortunate actually. Uh, let's do one more. Hoping for that triple hit attack power. <laughs> and uh, no luck today. Um, the energy regen is actually very low. Um, I got a double hit on crit chance, but it's a low crit chance double hit as well. Uh, but of course that would be 19 crit in total for that crit ring, so that's okay. Uh, going to try an amulet as well. Let's see what we will go for. It's the energy regen one. And I'm hoping for attack power here as well. Or some high energy on hit, and it can be a really good energy amulet of course Let's see so got two on energy regen crit chance crit damage attack speed where is the attack power i mean seriously is the game bugged i i've done now four rolls and i haven't gotten a single attack power hit that's really lame <laughs> seriously have i been doing these rolls during some bug now that don't give you attack power anymore. Uh, let's do one more and we'll see. But that was actually painful. I really feel all of these rings are crap. I got a one on energy regen, really terrible. And this is the problem when doing these rolls since you need to get so lucky on the, the rolls. And um, I must say, uh, I haven't gotten any good rolls at all for now. Do one last one and then I'm actually out of platinum already. So give me something good now. Mm, attack power, 1100 in attack power. Together with crit chance, crit damage, attack speed, but only one in regeneration instead of 
possible three, so it's really gimped one as well. So I must say, out of these amulets, really poor. Um, let's see if one of them actually would be some form of upgrade for Mantis, according to the game. Let's see what we can get. And then they recommend this one with the attack power one that I mentioned. That would be probably best one, but unfortunate. Uh, very low energy regeneration as well. So, uh, no upgrade at all on the ring. That was over 100 platinum and it went with the wind that fast. Oh man, I'm a little sad now. <laughs> so, but you can't expect to get good stuff every roll. But we know how hard it is to get those platinum. So, <laughs> let's do one attack, see how it goes. Uh, throw in some guys here. I tried to use Halbjörn, I got about the same results with Halbjörn, so figured I'll try just push up Mantis a little and then do a new roll. I need to get 200 more, 200k more in damage, so I beat Grifo. Really important, it's all about prestige, right? So let's go for that. Okay. Game showed me that I had something to get, but that was a, a bug as well. So, do this attack, and then uh, if this goes terrible, maybe I don't show this video <laughs> because it's a total failure. But hey, that's a part of the game as well, right? So, I need 6.2 million in damage. Let's see how it goes. Go, 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 go. Really slow start as well. This won't, this is, I had over one and a half million last time during about the same time. So this is a fail. Uh, sometimes um, you need to do several attacks because it all comes down to some luck as well on the crit hits. Um, but yeah, really low result this time, under 6 mil, if it doesn't suddenly jump, yeah, under 6 mil, just as I said, <laughs> okay, still missing those 200k and that those rings and amulets didn't give me anything, man, that sucks, but Better luck next time. I want to show you as well um, some some cool things coming up on the calendar. We actually have on Sunday, this Sunday, it's time for the Grand Guild event again. And then we will get some more platinum and try that again, getting those rings and amulets right. And um, we will actually get the new supporter next Saturday and Sunday. Then it's time to farm this guy. Well, see you guys.